Welcome to this scratch tutorial and this time I'm going to show you how you can make the cat pick up things so that they disappear. So let's get started. The first thing we'll need is something for the cat to pick up. So I'll just go over to the create new sprite from the library and pick something up. Maybe something that is a thing. Maybe it is a star. Now I'll put the star over here. Now the first thing I'll want to do in this case is to make be, make the cat able to move. So I'll go over to the cat and to the scripts of the cat and add four controls. And I want these to be an up arrow, a right arrow, a down arrow, as well as a left arrow. And I'll also go to motion and, and then I'll change the X by 10 when you press the right arrow. I change the X by minus 10 when you press the left arrow. I change the Y by 10 when you press the up arrow and change the Y by minus 10 when you press the down arrow. Now this will cause the cat to be able to move around when I press the arrows of the keyboard. The second thing I want to do is to check for whether the cat is touching the star or not. In order to do that I'll over go over to the star and enter that script and I want to start checking as soon as I've clicked the green flag. So I'll go over to events and pull in one of these when the green flag is pressed. I'll also go over to control and pick a forever block because I want to check this forever. And then I'll go over into sensing uh, and actually control again and pick one of these if then blocks, put that inside with the forever block, go over to sensing and pick one of these touching blocks. And here I'll choose the sprite one, which is the cat. You can see the name of it down here. And now when it's touched, I actually want it to disappear. And I do that under looks by picking one of these hide. And now we can try this out. So I start it by pressing the green flag, I walk over with the cat to the star, and boom, it's gone. That's nice and all, but if I press the green flag again, it won't come back. So when I press the green flag, I also want to show it as it starts. And this time, it will come back again once I press the green flag, so I can pick it up. And that's how you can pick up things in Scratch.